Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Glad you could join me today. Just a quick gear review video. Uh, yesterday I was out on the Baldwin Fells and then today I've got a lot of housework to catch up on. And uh, even though the sun's shining and it's kind of tempting me to get straight back out, I have still got other things that I need to do. I still have a, a family to support and uh, a house to run. So sadly, all this kind of stuff gets in the way of us hiking. But it doesn't stop me doing a gear review video. So today, I have wanted to uh, shout out for quite a while to these guys. These are my pants. My pants! You'll often see me wearing. Uh, I love them. Absolutely love them. They're only a off-brand sort of brand, if you can call it that. It's a Zoom Hill. And you get them off Amazon. Uh, they're in the style, as you can see, of the classic sort of hiking pants. This is generally what you see now. But they are quite affordable. They're only sort of 20 to 30 pounds. Uh, I bought XL, which is a perfect size for me. And they're just such a great walking pant. I really struggle to get pants that I like, that I don't really want to pay hundreds and hundreds of pounds for, like Rab. Uh, Revolution Race seems to be doing a lot of the rounds at the minute. I want something that's affordable, and that I don't mind that if I go over a barbed wire fence, or a slip, stumble, whatever, and there's a rip, I'm not going to start crying and blubbering because I've just lost £300. It is my argument against high-end hiking gear, especially for people like me and you, who are just trying to enjoy a good hike with an affordable cost. So, Zoom Hill from Amazon. It's all one word, Zoom Hill. It's probably some Chinese make. I have no idea. Never even thought. Yeah, made in China. Don't mind. It's good quality. It's all synthetic or reasonably synthetic. And uh, it has a sort of canvasy feel, very rugged in the parts that are stretchy. Um, but the most important features that I like is the fact that the crotch and the knees are a different elastic material. They're very stretchy. You also let a lot of air in. And there's two side vents that you can open up that expose some more of this stretchy material in warmer weather. But yeah, you can see that the back side and the crotch are all stretchy which is absolutely fantastic for hikers trying to manage difficult terrain to get over styles to get past uh, difficult bits of um, walls fences and generally just sometimes your leg will go out from under and you'll slip over slightly and you just want the pants to give a little rather than like my friend tim who tore every pants pair of pants that he ever wore um so these are great fantastic i've got one pair in gray you'll see me wear I just bought a blue pair. Like I said, size XL. I am uh, six foot two. I have a 31 inch leg. I'm always erring uh, between 15 and a half, 16 stone in size. You can see from the videos, I'm not some small guy. Um, XL is sort of a perfect fit. So you need to pick your fit based on that. And like I said, they're very affordable, but they're rugged and they do the job. And I'm very impressed with them. If I'm looking and stretching for any kind of negatives, the zips seem a bit flimsy. I mean, I've not had a problem with the zip. You can see there are uh, two front pockets, which are great. I always put my map in that one and my phone in that one, and it doesn't feel like it's restricting my movement. It doesn't really annoy me. Uh, you've got two side pockets as normal, which are mesh lined. And then you've got the vents, like I said, down the side. On the waist, there's some stretchy Velcro fasteners. You can just see them pulling. And a bit of elastic extends just to save you having to put a belt on they're really good i do use them and then around the ankle the ankle's elasticated to go over your boot then you've got some poppers there if you want to tighten them up i don't that's plenty tight to go over my boot and that's all i've got to say they wash really easily and they dry really quickly because they're sort of semi -thin synthetic i can't be bothered going on an amazon and telling you the percentages um but yeah, I'm going to buy another pair of stock up because Amazon does tend to sh uh, supply these things and then they disappear. So I would recommend you get out there, get yourselves a couple of these pairs, see what you think. Um, that's all I've got to say. It's only a short video. Pants are a big deal for me. They need to be right. These are a bit heavier than the thinner fabric, obviously, if you want looking for more of a, a summer wear level of uh, pants. You might need to spend a bit more money to get that really thin sort of breathable fabric. I do have two pairs of those. I can't remember what brand they are, but 
Uh, I will wear them in summer if it gets too hot and my legs get sweaty. I don't do shorts, I've said that before. But I can see myself still wearing these anyway because they're such a good pair of pants. And yeah, probably gonna buy some more. So there you go guys, just a quick video on pants. That is my opinion on pants. Can I say the word pants anymore? Pants, pants, pants. Um, I'm not prepared to spend a lot of money on items that have a higher risk of getting damaged. That's my feelings. So my down jacket, it's something called Sun Dry, that's the brand. Don't even know if they sell them anymore. Uh, it was 30 quid. If I get scragged on a thorn or a bush and it rips, world's not gonna end. Same with the pants, world's not gonna end. I do like to invest my money in things that really do matter, sort of my boots, some parts of my backpacking gear. There you go, there's my feelings on that. Anyway guys, take care, get some good pants, and I will see you next time back on the trail.